Welcome back to Android Weekly. My name is Jace, and we talk Android news in these parts. And ooh, do we have some good Android news for you regarding some sexy new phones coming down the pipe. But, and it's a really big but. No, I'm not talking about that type of butt. I am talking about the caveat that a shiny, sexy new phone is not going to make you happy. It's going to make your wife poorer. Oh, sure. He had enough money for a smartphone, but he doesn't have enough money to buy me a puppy! So if you suffer like I do, Motorola is trying to come to our rescue in satisfying the needs of both wife and geek in a manner that we hope becomes an industry standard. Motorola is bringing in the new year by slashing down the price of the 16GB Moto X to just $399 and $449 for the 32GB model. This includes both customized Moto Maker handsets and even the developer edition at $449. Now, for those of you who want a wood back model, that would still be an additional $100. Moving on to news about a Google Audi partnership. The latest car maker to put Android in its vehicles is Audi. According to the Wall Street Journal, Audi and Google are set to announce the development of an Android based in car entertainment and information system. Now, many of you will want to know the biggest difference between Apple and Google's approach to these car or vehicle information systems. And the primary difference is that whereas Apple is trying to use the iPhone as the base to integrate with the car's information and entertainment system, Google wants to integrate Android right into the vehicle's hardware. So we'll see how that turns out in the following year. Now, some really interesting news about a whole new line of premium phones from Samsung. ET News out of South Korea is reporting that Samsung will begin producing a new premium lineup of smartphones starting this year. The devices, which currently assume the codename Project F, will be coming to retail as of March 2014, according to a Japanese blog, RB Men. The devices, which are said to be the next iteration of the Galaxy S4 and Note line of devices, will not only ante up on specs, but make a radical departure in regards to Samsung's tried and true build quality. Now, although it's rumored that the phone will have a metal chassis like the HTC One, will have a five inch screen and a 16 megapixel camera, it should be clarified that this is meant to be a new line or new family of phones. So it's not an extension of the Galaxy or Note series, but it'd be its own line of premium smartphones. That sounds exciting. Now also some very interesting news came directly from Samsung via an off the record discussion with Samsung's VP head of design and strategy, where he said that the new Samsung Galaxy 5 would be made of new material. Now, many of you are gonna assume that new material must be metal with all these rumors about a metal chassis for the Samsung Galaxy S5, it must be metal. Not necessarily so, there are many different types of plastic. And again, this could all just be a rumor that's planted by Samsung to get people like us to talk about it. We'll wait and see. Well, Android Army, I have to ask you to kindly not just like and subscribe and comment on this show, but to help me spread some Android love by sharing this show with your friends. So no, not that I can afford to buy a new phone, so that I can afford to buy a new puppy.